A good morning. Welcome back to another episode on the channel. So today we've got something a little bit different, a little bit exciting. We try to do this once or twice a year. It's time for the draft, the yo-yo draft. If you know about sports, you know about the drafts. That's where this idea came from. Let me tell you a little bit about it, where you can get the tickets, what is available, I suppose, is what we're going to go through. So for the last few months, four months, five months, whatever it is, I've been pulling back one yo-yo from each release as long as we didn't oversell and saving it for this time and place, the draft. And if you're able to get a ticket to the draft, you're going to get to show up Saturday night to the Twitch stream and I'm going to have everybody shipping labels in a box and I'm going to pull them out. You get first pick, your ticket allows you to pick one of these yo-yos that is left over from the prior releases and there's a lot of good stuff in here we'll go through but that's how it works your cost of your ticket covers the cost of the yo-yo so when you pay or when you win one of the tickets you're gonna pay 125 plus whatever the shipping is I'm gonna get your address print your label for the yo-yo give you the exact shipping amount and that'll be your total you pay you come to the draft, you select your yo-yo, it ships, it's on its way. That's how it works. Um, two places to get your tickets. So it looks like we've got, shoot, I don't know, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 yo-yos. So we're going to have 32 tickets. Nine of those tickets are going to be sold via Patreon only. It's going to be patreon.com g2jake. There's going to be a raffle there this morning and it's going to be just just like the Facebook one that we'll get to. It's going to be comment in. If you win, you'll be able to pay, get your ticket, but that's going to be limited. Those nine tickets are limited to just Patreon backers. And then we're going to have, what is it, 22, 23, 23, 24. 24 tickets on the official G2 Nation Facebook page where you're watching this video from possibly, I post a link there, this video is going to be posted. On this post on G2 Nation, you're going to comment in if you want one. Later tonight, I'm going to go through later today, later tonight, whenever the kids give me a little bit of a break, and I'm going to put the entries into a random number generator and grab who wins the tickets. I'm going to do Patreon first. If you win one from Patreon, I'm going to remove you from the Facebook page. So that's the big the big help is that Patreon is getting to enter in the, those two different raffles. But if you win one on Patreon, I'm going to take you out of the Facebook page. You're not going to win two tickets. Unless, for whatever reason, we don't have enough entries. That's possible because of this, this qualifier here. It's not 100%. I will, if something pops up, I understand life happens. I'm a dad of two. I've got a wife. I understand it happens. But the draft is Saturday night at 9 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv g2 underscore Jake. Um, you're going to be able to get there if you have internet. You can go from your browser, you can get the Twitch app. A lot of TVs even have Twitch. But you have to be able to get there, have an account to type. That's how I'm going to know what you pick. That's how you're going to watch the draft. If you know that you can't make it Saturday night to the draft, I really would prefer if you did not try to get a ticket because the draft is part of an event. Um, and if you can't be there and I'm just getting a list from you that shows you your draft order, it takes away from the fun of the event. So if you're going to get in on the tickets, please try and make the draft. If you plan to make the draft, something happens, you can't, that's fine. We will get it sorted so that you're going to be able to get the yo-yo you want. Most likely that comes down to you emailing me a list of all of your picks and then I will pick whatever yo-yo is still available from your list at the top okay we're all set let's let's show you what is in this draft at the end of 2020 not the best year but it has been a good year for for G2 yo-yos and colorways as you're about to see here so these ones aren't boxed up yet they will have boxes but first we'll just start with this Barry Fade Reaper this one it is a 6061. We do have both 6061 and AL7. Not sure if there's an AL7 in this batch, though, or if they sold out. The GBP. The GBP, some of you guys know what this is. This is a 46, 48 gram yo-yo. I forget right now off the top of my head. 
part of the campaign series a year later. We really wanted to push the weight. Buy metal. Wild, wild yo yo. This is the beautiful 117 Banshee SS. 100 green gold SS rims. We have a, oh, Rainbow Road Covenant. I'm hoping the lighting isn't terribly harsh on these. I know it's going to be, but you guys can at least understand what yo-yos are there. If somebody makes a Google sheet of this, everybody will love you forever. Oh, I know we got to be, ooh, 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 the reverse Rainbow Road Warthog from the retirement run. Off the top of my head, I forget if this one is the AL7. We've got some AL7 Warthogs in here. I kind of forget what they are off the top of my head. Apologies for that. Okay, this one's awesome. This is the Halloween 2020 Respawn Artist Edition. That little scare code right there. Great job, Ryan. You killed the art. What's in here? It's going to be a Retirement Quake. We've got the Retirement Quake in the Andromeda Swirl. Covenant in the best splash I've ever seen on a yo-yo. The Reverse Rainbow Road. Like even the Warthog's really good. The Covenant, the Anodizer just did an incredible job. The colors came out a little bit more vibrant and just, just the best anode I've ever seen on a yo-yo. We've got a life. Okay, the Arkham second run with the tighter seats. Another Banshee SS. Ooh, I forget what we called this, guys, but I love it. It's got the engraving in there. It's just clean. One of my favorite SS's. I have one kept in my personal display. Ooh, this. It's not the Lucid Dreams. I think it is the... What's the name of this colorway? Somebody help me. I forget the name of the colorway. It's the, the darker royal blue it's like an oil oil slick it's not lucid dreams that one's the more aqua -y. i don't know but we have that arbiter and it's awesome Ooh, another from the retirement run just a nice clean freedom warthog so as you guys will notice you're getting a killer deal basically everything that i've just listed pretty much maybe two yo-yos wouldn't have hit that 125 but it, it's nice to get something that is worth more than what you're buying or what you paid. So that's why we're doing that. Another respawn here, another artist proof. Respawn is like the only only one that doesn't hit that qualifier, but they're the artist editions. They're awesome. I don't know what they go for on the aftermarket right now. Um, but the second second thing I want to clarify is so we've got 32 tickets, 36 yo-yos. So even if you get the very last pick, you're still going to have five yo-yos to pick from. We didn't sell all the all the yo-yos today. And then we've got one of the elusive AL7 Pelicans in the clear colorway. Uh, not a lot out there. It was getting some praise today um, on the official G2 Nation Facebook group. Gotta be careful with this box. The old Banshee box likes to tear when you open them. Ooh! Another Rainbow Road. This one Banshee style. But like, see, this one. You can put, you're getting a $500 aftermarket yo-yo, right? For your ticket. So, may the odds be in your favor. The luck be on your side. Just start sending out that good karma this week, guys. A Reaper in the Pacific Fade. Little blue fade action here. We have one of the brass rimmed arbiters. AL7 Reaper. This is the AL7 berry fade. You'll see the pink's a little bit lighter. Oh, I love it. In the nebula colorway. I forgot we did these. They're so good. Warthog for the retirement rod. Kaleidoscope colorway. Not sure if this is the AL7. I can't remember off the top of my head. Another Warthog from the retirement run. I think this might be the last one. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Another Nebula. We haven't done these in a while. I need to bust these back out. 
So as you can see, that, that run of yo-yos right there, you get any of those, you were, you, were, you were good this past week. Santa was happy with you. Covenant, ooh, one of my favorite colorways. Not as flashy as a lot, but just one of the cleanest. It just looks so good and classy. It's Covenant in the Warpath colorway. Ooh, in the Unearth. I know you guys have been looking for these. We were talking about them on Twitch stream yesterday. Another SS. Oh, and that beautiful, clean rose gold. Rosé, bubbly wine, as we called it. The other, Retirement Quake. You know what it is already. It's that Dragon's Breath, that red-orange red orange acid wash with the violet speckles, the, the lilac, the light purple. Oh, I forget what we called this one, but it's awesome. Beautiful. Beautiful blue acid wash. I forget what we called this. Apologies on my end for, for not having all the information on each of these colorways offhand. It's a lot to store up there. The filing cabinets don't have room. Ooh, the gold on gold AL7 Arbiter. So this body is 7068 gold on gold. Still got the stainless steel rims. It's that middle weight between the regular Arbiter and that brass ringed Arbiter. Another Arbiter here. If I had to guess, yep, it is the legendary, incredible, Lucid Dreams. Just amazing colorway. Nothing else I can say about it. Turned out amazing, better than I could have imagined. Fancy SS here. This is the stealth mode. It's a very dark gray, just clean. I was trying to remember if it was the blackout, black on black. I believe that this one is that dark gray stealth. We've got a Reaper. Ooh, it's the Citrus Fade. I love it. One of my favorite photo shoots we did. Maybe over the top, but it was fun to do. Warthog from the retirement run. Oh, we never named it, but it's the Aqua to Yellow Fade Speckle on the black. We have a prototype, Project C. Right here, that bluish, tealish fade. Covenant. This was a custom anno job. Not a lot of these out there. It's a blue clear acid wash with that purple splash. Reaper in the... I think I'm going to weigh this. I think this is the AL7 Reaper as well. In that orange sunburst fade. That was sent out um, in mystery boxes. I thought it was regular and it wasn't. Little oopsie. Covenant. Ooh! In that Helix Nebula colorway. Last but not least, we've got another respawn here. What could this be? Ooh! Okay. Back to back on the Helix Nebula. So there we have it, guys. There's all your options for the draft this Saturday. Tickets are going up for sale for the raffle style today. And I hope you had a wonderful day. We'll be back here tomorrow, same place, same time.